the visionaries man what to it do with y'all welcome back to another video and um today's video i want to talk to y'all about it pertains to no fat and this title or what it's going to be about is the 90 day challenge or this to all the people that's counting the days on their no fat journey just to see their progression so for me right now i'm on the 90 day challenge you know what i'm saying Today is day 21 of my no fat 90 day challenge. And today is day six of my last relapse. So let me explain because I know, I know right what I just said. You're probably thinking I'm on day six right now. You feel me? Let me explain what I'm about to talk to y'all about. So when we do the 90 day challenge, the purpose of the no fat 90 day challenge is this. It's to, it's to break the habit or it's to break the pattern of the reasons as to why you relapse. So when you're on the no fab 90 day challenge, your main goal, you know, you're just like how mine was all of our main goals is to not fap ever again. However, we know that this is the strongest battle on this earth. So 99% of us will fail, right? So only 1% succeed on NoFap. Literally, I only know like 1% of people that went 1,000 days, 2,000 days, or years. Real talk, because this is hard. So what I'm saying is there is a 99% chance that you're going to relapse on your NoFap 90-day challenge or if you're counting the days. So... So, like I just said, so if you're, so let's say this, I'm going to give you an example. You see a YouTuber that's on, uh, you, you see a YouTuber that's on NoFap and basically they're counting the days on their NoFap journey. So they're counting the days just to see, you know, you know, just to see their progression. Um, when the last time they, you know, before the last time they realized before they started on the challenge. So they doing good. They probably on day 35 or something right now. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom, probably like day 42, they relapse. So when they reach day 42 and when they relapse, just only one time, when they do that, now they feel some type of way after they finish relapsing. So now, now, they, go into, now they go into this negative cycle of, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I lost all my progress. Oh, I need to start all over. So... They do all of that. They might, they might, they might binge. You know, binging means like they're going to do it again. So they might do it again just because they thought that all their progress was lost. When in reality, they still had, they still had their progress. It might have diminished a little bit, just a little bit. But in their head, since they're not trying to relapse ever again, which that's a great thing to do, but they don't realize not only 1% of people could successfully succeed on this. Why you think so many people can't do it when they, when they, when they relapse, they think all progress is lost. So, so boom, they made it to 42 days on their YouTube video. And now the next video they're going to make is day one. I relapse. So now they back on it. Now, now they back on day one. So now here they go. They, they up on the days again. They probably on like day 18 this time. They on day 18 and then boom, they relapsed again. They relapse again on day 18. So now, now they feeling a type of way again. They feeling like they got to start all over. They feel like all their progress is lost. You feel like the 18 days didn't mean anything. So now you back to, now you making another streak. This is your third streak on YouTube. So now, so now you back on day one again. So now you probably went to day seven this time. Now you relapse again. You, the, you see what I'm saying? This is a pattern. See, this is the reason as to, this is the reason as to why I'm counting my relapses even still on my no fat 90 day streak. Because the reason why is because in order to break the pattern, you got to see where the pattern is coming from. That's what it is that I'm doing. So I relapsed when I was on day 15. You feel me? I relapsed on day 15. I did it one time. Now, what I was, I was about to do, what I just explained, I was literally about to do exactly what these, uh, what the YouTubers that's doing no fat videos, I was about to do what they do and restart all over, restart my challenge videos and do all of that. But I said, like, I, I, like I said, I, I started to notice, 
I started to notice um the pattern that they was going through. The pattern that they was going through, they kept on retrying and retrying and retrying because they thinking that they got to keep on retrying. When in reality, when in reality, you, you're supposed to keep on going on that same street because a relapse is a part of the recovery process. So I think, so this is why I think people don't want to relapse for it. I think people, I think the reason as to why people, when they relapse and they start all the way back from zero is like I said, they think all progress is lost. So they think like, they think they don't, they don't realize that only they don't, they don't think a real, they don't think a relapse is going to be a part of the recovery process. If you, if, if you, if you was a person that was doing it all day, every day, or if you was a person that was doing a whole lot and you go three weeks without it and then somehow you just relapse, you just, you literally, you literally changed a pattern in your last relapses. You went 21 days, if you made it to three weeks, you went 21 days, you went 21 days without consuming it and you changed the pattern. But since you had this thought in your head that you're never going to relapse again, now, now you think you back to your old self. That does not make sense. And this is like I said, this is where this is where this is why people fall into when they doing no fat. This is why people fall into this negative cycle of negative thinking, bad habits again. They restart their street. This is the reason why because they think they think they're that they're not going to relapse. Like I said, ninety nine ninety nine percent of the people is consuming, you know, PMO and the P word rhymes with corn. The N word rhymes with. Flash the station. <laughs> and the old word rhymes with uh uh morasm. <laughs> but that's all I can I, I just made up some words. But real talk though, 99% of us, 99% of the population, and you think you think that you're not gonna you the hardest battle on earth, and you think that you're not gonna relapse again. You think you're not gonna do that? It's it is it's perfectly it's perfectly great to think that you're not. See, this is one thing that I realized. This is one thing I realized. So you see, when we on day zero on no fat, when we when we on day zero on our no fat journey, it is it is one thing that I know that most people go through, especially in, and me because I was on day zero. So when I was on day zero, about to start my ninety day challenge, when I was on day zero, I felt so much motivation to like start my no fat journey. I felt so much determination. I felt so much commitment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I said. I said, I would never do this ever again. Look what happened. <laughs> Look what happened. And I know for a fact, most of us, that's, I'm telling you what it is. It's just, like, it just like a New Year's resolution. Here you go. You think you're going to go 365 days working out, doing whatever it is that you're trying to do. Then somehow, some way, you fall back into your old cycles. Because, because you don't think. See, basically what I'm going to say is this. Your words, your words will give you the motivation when you first start. Real talk. Your your words, that's the key word, word. <laughs> but your words will give you the motivation, determination when you first start your journey to no fat, to, like I said, the new year resolution, whatever it is. Your words will be your first start in giving you that motivation. But as you keep on increasing the days, as you keep on as you keep on growing, keep on going, you'll realize that your words will no longer mean anything. It, it will, your actions will become your new words. And that's basically what it is, especially on no fat. When you get high up on the days, your lectural, your S word that rhymes with lectural energy will literally start. I'm telling you, I'm going through it right now. <laughs> your, 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 your lectural energy will start. It, it will start urging you. It will start giving you these temptations. So, here you go. Your electrical energy giving you all these urges. But you remember remember when you said you was on day zero? Remember, remember you said, I would never do this again. I'm so determined. I'll, I, I'm going to just do whatever it is I got to do. Remember you said all the day on day zero? Boom. Now you're probably on. Now you're probably on day 30. What happened? What happened? What happened when you're on day 30? Now, now you're on day 30. Now, you, now you're realizing that your words no longer mean anything. Your actions become your new words. Discipline will become your new words. That's 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 how you keep on. That's how you that's how you stay on the uh on the journey. And so, but um, but yeah, that's basically all this I want to talk about. It's just like it's so many of us, so many of us think we're not gonna relapse 
to something that only the 1% of people in life successfully accomplished. I, like I said, I literally only know like less than 10 people I know made it to a thousand days, made it to a couple years, literally. And if it is not 10, less than 20, that's 1%. Real talk. Not too many people. Why do you think so many, why do you think so many people keep on going back to this? That, because it's hard. The difficulty on NoFap is extreme level difficulty. Real talk. And so if you relapse, if you relapse one time out of whatever amount of days that you went, it could be even seven days. Literally, if you did that only one time and you get back on the grind, real talk, like you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself for you should be proud of yourself for going a couple of days because at this point in this generation, it's everywhere at this point. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this one, you know what I'm saying? I think I think back in the day, if somebody was trying to go on no fat back in the day. I don't know. They, had, I think they had magazines and stuff like that. But I think now, now it's a different breed. I ain't gonna lie. Now, like I said, like I said in one of my last videos, like um, we don't, we 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 really do not leak. We can't get my word up, but we, <laughs> but we really do not need the p word that rhymes with corn anymore. The reason why is because it's everywhere now. Literally, I, I guarantee if, if I upload this video on TikTok right now, I guarantee the next video, 90 percent chance the next video that you're gonna see. You know what I'm saying? You know, real talk. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. So, but yeah, man, that's all this I want to say. So if, you, if you're a person that relapsed, if you're a person that relapsed while you're on, while you're on your 90-day challenge, keep on going on your 90-day challenge. Look at that relapse that you did as uh, don't, don't pay attention to that relapse if you relapse, even if you did it more than one time. Keep on going on the no fab ninety day street. Um, keep on going on the no fab ninety day challenge. So when and, and also write down, write write down when write down the day that you did it and write down how many times because that's what I'm doing. Write down the day that you're doing. Write down how many times so you can see the pattern. So you can see it's like okay, so I did it. So I did it like when I was uh, five weeks in. So boom. So now I know that I could do another five weeks and I can go even higher this time. So now I know or and write also write down the reason as to why you did it. So so you could break the pattern. So you could break the pattern so you could never do it again. Real talk. So that's that's basically all it is I'm saying. And also I just thought of it. I just thought of this, but if you want to look at it another way. You know, I know, I know some people are doing this method right here. I'm about to say is, uh, go, if you're a person that's heavily addicted to it, try to go seven days and then boom, you know, if you relapse, if, if you heavily addicted, try to go seven days. And then, you know, if you want to give yourself a reward, then do it that time. Then boom, try to go longer than seven days this time or 14 days. Then, you know, the goal is to do it less and less and less to the point where you no longer do it again. If you were heavily addicted. I was a person that was heavily addicted to it. I ain't going to sit back and lie. I was heavily addicted. Heavily. You know what I'm saying? But that's all this I'm saying. Just, just to let y'all know, it's like dissolve, break, you break the pattern by changing the pattern. But in order for you to change the pattern, you got to realize the pattern and keep on dissolving it day by day. Keep on dissolving it. Keep on dissolving it. Because like I said, only 1% of people can successfully do what, what I'm talking about, no fat. Only 1% of people can, can successfully do it. So in order for you to be that 1%, you might have to be the 99% for the time being. But when you keep on dissolving the pattern, keep on seeing where it's coming from, you will eventually be the 1%. AKA, you will no longer do it ever again. But that's all it is I want to say in this video, man. So if you like this video, stay tuned. Stay tuned for some more videos. And we out. V's up.